So, in the last video, which you can check out here, I was in Marrakesh, Morocco, exploring the city. And now it's time to leave and explore other areas nearby the city still, but... First stop, Eid Benadou. Eid Ben Hadou is an Ingram or fortified village. Located within Morocco, Eid Ben Hadou was originally built to sit on the former caravan route between, between the Sahara and Marrakesh. Honestly, this was a bit of the journey is just as good as the destination kind of thing. Not that the top of the village wasn't beautiful, when you look out at the mountains and the surrounding valley, it's just indescribable. But moving through the winding pathways to get to the top of the village and seeing and imagining what the village would have been like when it was a huge trading post, that's also just wow. And make sure to go to the bottom of the village as well, so you can look up from the riverbed and imagine what it would have been like filled with people. Honestly, there have been so many projects found here. Including Game of Thrones, obviously. <laughs> We headed over to the Atlas Film Studio next. Honestly not sure why I didn't film with my camera. Pretty sure I just wasn't thinking straight. But I did record the entire experience with Snapchat like the millennial slash Gen Zer I am. Hamanaptra, King's Landing, Asterix, and Obelix. Atlas Film Studio is just outside Louisazet, which we were heading through next. The castle was built in the 19th century and was partially restored with the help of UNESCO. So, the history of the two buildings, the Tarut and the Talaret, is also linked to the history of Morocco's independence, but not in the best way. Both Caspas were part of the El Glaoui clan's holdings, a clan which controlled one of the major trade routes to West Africa. Very, very long story short. The head of the clan worked against the current sultan, removing him from power, to aid the French colonizers, and was later punished for treason. But be clear, long story short, I've linked in the description box below um, some websites that could help with history. Tariut was used by the second tier command. But compared to the Caspa Telouet, which we visited next, the architecture was not as grand and it was a bit more cramped. Although to be fair on the cramped part, I did go there with my brother and we're both over six feet tall, so... This next Caspa is slightly off the beaten track, but if you're already in the area of Uzizet, please go. Please, please, just go for it. Go for it. Yeah. 
Okay, so outside the Caspa, it appears to be in a bit of state of disrepair. Its repair was supposed to have started in 2010, but I couldn't really find anything else about it, so who knows what's happening. So go while you can, guys. Inside, also a bit of disrepair, but just the beauty of the building speaks for itself. I really, really encourage you to go there. Like, just, just look at this. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? So next up, it's Wira. Itsura is located in West Morocco on the Atlantic coast and has been around since prehistoric times. However, the present city you'd visit, and I visited, was built in the 18th century by the current king. With the intention of being the main trading post with European powers, but lending to the city's heavy Moroccan design and architectural style, but also to the touches of European influence scattered around. We explored Esuero's Medina, wandered down the beaches, and had dinner at Au Blue and Mogador. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new... As mentioned before, some scenes of John Wick 3 were filmed here. But they were here way before I was here. Back in November, I think. And, of course, some Game of Thrones was filmed here. The Uzod Falls was one of our last stops before returning to Marrakesh. Um, both the top and the bottom of the falls are beautiful, but we remained at the top for various reasons. So 
So that comes to our Lost Days in Marrakesh, uh, specifically our New Year's Eve party. After New Year's Eve, we hung around for a bit, but didn't really do much. And then it was time to go. Thank you so much for watching this two-parter, and I hope you have a good week. Okay, I'm done.